Okay, so the last one really liked you. Um, not only because of the price point, and we serve a lot of buyers at that price point, but the location. Smack dab in the notch. middle of Lower Greenville <laughs> yeah. and Henderson. Yes. Mm -hmm. Man, you cannot beat that location. I mean, you can literally get to Henderson in less than a minute, get to Greenville in probably the same time, less 30 than seconds. 30 seconds. You've got Trader Joe's over there. Sprouts. Sprouts, La La mm -hmm. Land, coffee. You've got the laboratory. Green Ave Pizza Co. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it is really in a yes. in an amazing location. And the home itself. So we've seen one very traditional. We've seen the two was a three story condo. Yes, condo townhome. Condo townhome. What's yes. what's the difference there? So with a condo um, versus a townhome. In a townhome, you actually own the dirt underneath you. Okay. It's more like mm. a single family home, but it is still attached. With a condo, you just own foundation up. Interesting. Yeah. So that's that. yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the difference for all you guys out there watching. But um, yes, it's a three-story townhome. Um, we do a lot of our business uh, for with townhomes. Yeah. A lot of our first-time buyers love townhomes. Well, it's priced at five ninety-five. It's priced at five ninety-five, which I still think was a little. You did. Heavy. You did. It's I mean, a you ran heavy. you ran the comps, and they were yeah. almost a hundred thousand. Yeah. Over. over. And then um, where even it where I thought it should be priced, and then their neighbors in that same row sure. were just sold recently for a, a lower price. Okay. So I get that it's an end unit. You're only sharing one wall. You've got a bigger yard. You've got more windows and light and things like that. But if we're still talking about finishes, square footage, floor plan, style, style size, size, yeah. Um, it, it is on the heavier side okay. of the price. That's good to know. Yeah. So speaking of this price point, five ninety five, Ron, we spoke, mm -hmm. and you know your points were that it basically fit nicely in, I guess, the products that you guys would offer, or yeah, especially uh, given the higher conforming loan limits, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. if you were thinking about it before, uh, I don't have my calculator in front of me, mm -hmm. but you might have to put down more than five percent, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Uh, when it was at five forty eight in yeah. terms of the loan amount. But at 595, if the conforming loan limit is 625, you can you can meet the minimum standard, wow. right? And if you have that extra money in case it doesn't appraise, which it might, because we looked at those comps, yeah. it sold for <laughs> you know, hundred thousand dollars less, um, then you might have that ability to put that extra money into the transaction um, or be able to have a little bit more negotiating room gotcha. if that's what you were looking for. Um, the key with uh, condo financing is it's a little different yeah. than, than standard, different. right? Because again, we talk about risk, yeah. right? So the investor, you know, on a single family home, they're looking at that particular home and they're saying, okay, so, uh, you know, whatever happens inside that home, it's really just the homeowners, mm -hmm. right? Um, in addition to, you know, acts of God and everything else. Mm -hmm. But at a condo, you got all the neighbors you around you. All the neighbors right? you have to worry about. And yeah. they affect the, you know, the livability mm -hmm. and, and the asset, yeah. right? Because at the end of the day, I mean, you put 10% down and you say, yes, we're homeowners. Guess what? Bank owns 90%. <laughs> <laughs> they want their money. Yeah. They want for their now. asset for protected <laughs> for now for until now. you pay it off yeah. and get the red door, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but that's what's really important, right? So you, you, you've got to think of it you know, from that standpoint. Mm -hmm. And as lenders, we send that actually through a condo review, okay. right? So we're looking at the HOA documentation. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the CC&Rs. Yeah. We're looking at all that paperwork. Yep. And fortunately, we've got a very speedy team that mm -hmm. just goes through all that, makes sure that we check all the right boxes. We have the very uh, you know minimum checklist, and and then we're good. Yeah. Right. And it is a lot of paperwork. It Listen, is. Those CCRs, <laughs> those condo docs get very very thick. hefty. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah.